Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again. And yep guys, today we are starting a brand new series on the channel. We are going to be looking at the football manager world five years on. Because in my Kingsland Save, the Walks to Prem series, we are five years in. So I'm using that save file to see what football manager thinks is going to happen over the next five years mainly looking at who's winning league titles and who is at what particular clubs and just before we do get into the video i recorded the video earlier today but it went very very long so it went like 53 minutes long so what i've decided to do is to cut the video up and just look at certain countries per video so today's video is going to be looking at la liga five years into the save and then tomorrow we're going to do another country and then the day after that another country just so i'm, I'm not boring you with 53 minutes of me rambling so let's go and hand you over two past bad jokes as we have a look at la liga five years in the future hello guys it's me bad jokes back at you once again with another video and today guys we have got something a little bit different on the channel for you all i am five years into my kingsland save in the walks to prem series and i've not been keeping an eye at all on what's been going on in the major leagues in all these leagues that i've got loaded so i thought i'd do a special one-off video check out what's been going on see who's been winning the leagues in spain scotland northern ireland all these leagues we've got loaded up we're gonna do it by how it is on this screen so we'll go spain scotland northern ireland and then all the way back to England. So if you want to know who's, who's won the Premier League, please do keep watching until the end. And so, first things first, let's go and have a look and see what's been going on over in Spain. The first season in La Liga has been won by Barcelona by just one point away from Real Madrid and three points away from Atletico Madrid. So a very good season there for Barcelona, but a very, very tight title race. And so next up, Barcelona won it in season two as well. Four points away this time from Real Madrid. And Real Madrid and Atletico finished level on points. Madrid getting second because of a superior goal difference. And then season three, Barcelona won it again by just a point. Very, very tight there. But Real Sociedad finishing in third. That's a little bit of a surprise. Them qualifying for the Champions League, if I'm going to be honest. And then season four, Barcelona won it again. This time by six points away from Real Madrid. Sociedad again in third. Atletico Madrid failing to make the Champions League. Very disappointing couple of seasons there for Atletico Madrid. And then the season just gone. Madrid have finally broken Barcelona's a stranglehold on the league title. Four points clear from Barcelona. Atletico Madrid restoring the normal order of things and so let's go and have a look and see how the how these three squads look so first things first we'll have a look at Real Madrid we will go on their players and let's just go it by who's been picked so they've still got Courtois there how's he been getting on over the last few years he has been there for quite a while now hasn't he one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. Why he played? Why he was in the Castillo group? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they were sort of keepers. Maybe he was being punished for something. Uh, I'm not sure. But he's been doing all right. Only conceded 22 goals in the first season, 35 in the third, and 30 of 30 in the season just gone. 
So, yeah, it, it's got a 7.21, 7.26, 7.23. So, yeah, he's been fairly solid. And how has Hazard been doing? I know he's still here. Yes, he is. And so, Eden Hazard is now 33 years old. Still looks an absolute beast, if you ask me. I think he might just get into my Kings Lynn team. He might just be able to get himself squeezed into there. And so, wow, look at these stats. 18 goals, 13, 16, 16, 15. The sort of stats you would expect from Eden Hazard. And so he has been doing very, very well for them. And any more we want to have a look at here. Luka Hovic, I think that's how you say his name. 26 now in the game. How has he been doing? He joined them in the 1920 season, got seven goals, and then 2021 got nine, then 13, then 11, and then only six last season. Little bit disappointing. For somebody who's been hyped up quite a lot, you would hopefully expect better numbers than that, if you ask me. And so who else do we want to have a look at? Uh, Musha Dembele's there. Is, is that the one from Celtic? Surely that's not the one from Celtic. It is. Wowzers. Look at these transfer fees. Fulham got him for 275k. Sold him for 500k. So made practically nothing. They then sold him for 19 and a half. And Leon then sold him for 58 million. And so far he's had two quite decent seasons for him. 17 goals with a 7.72 average rating. And then again, 17 goals with a 7.59 average rating. So, yeah, if you're Musa Dembele, you're going to be very, very happy with that. And so, let's have a look at Barcelona. And let's see how they have been getting on. Oh, hello. Hello. Declan Rice is now playing for Barcelona. Oh, my boy. You can see it. West Ham fan here. My boy has gone to Barcelona. If he's going to go anywhere, I'm very happy he's made it all the way there. He's played 52 times for his country now, getting just the five goals. And, oh, look at his, look, his, look at his attributes. 16 marking, 17 tackling. All these oranges for his mentals. And his physicals as well. The man is world class. Oh, let's let's see. How's his career done for him? So he left us to go to Man City. <sighs> Not happy about that. So he left us. He, he joined Man City for 68 million. He got a 6.78 in the 1920 season. And then he got a 7.15 in the season before he joined Man City. And then in his two years at City, he got a 7.07 and a 7.12 before they made a 78, 88, yeah, a £21 million profit they made on him. And he's had a 7.37 average rating there. Oh, I would love to see Declan Rice in a Barcelona midfield. If he's got a Libras, which I think he will one day, unfortunately, I would love him to go Barcelona. Ah, so let's see. Who else is in this Barcelona team then? Is Messi still there or is he retired now? I'm guessing he's retired. Uh, yeah, he is. And he's now a manager, but he's not got a job. So actually, let's see how Messi finished off his career. And so there we are, 18, 19, 19, 20. He got an 8 rating in that season with 20 goals, 16 the season after, 15 the season after that. And then the season he retired, he only got 7 goals and 4 assists, but he still got a 7.34 average rating before deciding to hang up his boots. Has he had any managerial jobs yet? No, he hasn't. Even Barcelona haven't given him like a coaching job or let him be in charge of their B team. You would think that when Messi retires, Barcelona are going to maybe do a Pep Guardiola with him and put him in charge of one, one of their B teams or whatever, just to see if he can do anything as a manager. 
And so, who else is in the Barcelona team? Antoine Griezmann's still there. 33 years old now. Physicals declining a little bit, possibly. But his technicals are still very, very good. And his mentals. And so, well, how has he been getting on? 14 goals, 19, 13, 19, and then 11. Very, very good stats there for him. Let's go on to the senior squad. Any other interesting transfers? Christian Eriksen and Eric Dia. Tottenham Tuesday ending up in Barcelona. And from what I can see here, he doesn't look the best. I'm a little bit surprised he's made it to Barcelona, to be honest. How long has he been there? Uh, just the one season. And he only got a 7.06. And Barcelona paid £40 million for him when he would have been 29. So maybe paid, overpaid a little bit is what I would suggest there. And what about Christian Eriksen? Of course, he has just left Tottenham IRL to go to Inter Milan. Barcelona paid £60 million for him from Napoli. Napoli got him on a free and then flogged him for £60 million. That is what you call good business. So for Napoli, he got a 7.28, 7.34 and a 7.20 in that one game before Barcelona came calling. And then he's at a 7.4 and a 7.22 there. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a surprising move. Anybody else I want to have a look at? Uh, Arthur. I love Arthur. I had Arthur in my FM18 beta save, I think it was, copping the title with Liverpool. And he came in and, oh my gosh, he, he transformed that team for me. So, I want to see how he's getting on. For Barcelona, he has had a 7.09 season, 7.29, 7.06, 7.1, and then last season, a 6.9. And so, not the best. I wouldn't exactly call that world class, but he is now just getting into his prime. So, next few seasons will be interesting to see how he does. And so, anybody else want to have a look at here? Don't think so. Nope, I'm good with that. So, now let's have a look at the Atletico Madrid squad. And where are they? There they are. And so, Koke, I want to have a look at him. How is he been getting on? 32 years old now. He has been there for quite a while, you could say. You could say he's been there a while. You could also say he's been there his whole bleeding career, Spin. How did you not know that? But anyway, he has played now 529 games for Atletico Madrid. So he has got to be one of the legends at this point. But during this save, he has had a 6.9 season. 7.5 is his best one there with 5 goals and 7 assists. And then he had a 7.48. I would think that would be a better season. Because he's had the same amount of goals, but more assists and more player of the matches. So, why is the average rating lower? That confuses me. I have no idea why that is. And then after that, he had another decent season. 7.4. And then a 7.1 last season. And again... Maybe his physicals are starting to decline just a smidge. But he does still look very, very good. 106 appearances for Spain. Anybody that can play 100 times for Spain has got to be half decent. And so who else have they got in their squad? Anybody surprising who you might not expect? Not really. Not really anybody here whose names are jumping out. At me, Oliver Nitcham, maybe, the guy from Celtic. He is there. He's now 28 years old. And he has gone from Celtic to Norwich for 22 million. And then Norwich have sold him to Atletico Madrid. How did he do for Norwich? 7.29, 7.1, and then a 6.5 in a, in a few games there before he went over to Madrid. So that means if Norwich is spending 20 million on a player, 
they must be doing all right in the Premier League. We will see how that how they have been getting on in a few minutes. And so, since he's joined Madrid, 7.14 with 11 goals and a 7.06 with 10 goals. So he's looking quite decent, quite tasty for them. To be in order to be getting 11 and 10 goals from midfield, I would be happy with those numbers. And so now that is Spain all over and done with. Once you've done all the domestic leagues as well, we will have a look at who's been winning the Champions Leagues and the Euros and the World Cups as well. And okay guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. The next episode in this series will be taking a look at what's happened in Scotland in the five years of this save. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for more football manager content more pro evo content and yet follow me on twitter for all the news on the channel at bad jokes gaming and as well as that check out all the passion for fm lads i've got all their details down below and check out the passion for fm website the discord the twitter and the facebook Check out all that good stuff. And yep, guys, I shall see you tomorrow for the India save. I shall see you then. Bye.